Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. While I was in the city, I was down in their basement. They have a, a nice big size basement, and I noticed the uh, all the pipes for the sewer, for the water, all the utilities were between the floor joists. And I've always wanted to do this, but I don't need to where I live now. Plus, I have a crawl space. It's hard to do it. But if you're in the city, uh, the suburbs, and you want to hide some food, you want to hide some valuables, you know. Hiding it sort of like in plain sight is important to do. I would definitely recommend putting some food in some secret locations. You never know what will happen, uh, and this will give you an insurance policy. Now, normally people's pipes in their house are you three inches or four. That's to accommodate for the sewer. So use what's in your house um, so the sizes will match. Also, use the same kind of piping. Use the same... Um, quality of piping make sure it's the same don't cheap out and use the sewer pipe uh, that's really thin sewer line compared to the heavy PVS or the um, uh, schedule 40 excuse me um, put this up you can use the same holders to hold it to the ceiling or actually be the floor don't make another kind find exactly what the plumber used many years ago and use that to make it look all the same remember you might have to get this new stuff dirty. It might look uh, too new, you draw attention to it, so you might want to get it dirty on purpose just to hide it. You can do this in all kinds of ways. Um, you can put it so you can have two 90s coming up and going into the floor like it's going through the floor to an upstairs bathroom. Uh, you can do anything you want. Use your creativity, make it look normal. Make it look like it's been there since the house was built. So the four inch stuff can hold the larger cans Now you might say, Dave, how are you going to get this out? Well, they do have clean outs and some people have clean outs in their basement so you could use a clean out. Or what you could do is, is make it where you could just pull down one of the supports so it can tip down. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, take a large can after you eat it but save it, uh, poke a hole in it, put a string 550 cord in there and use that first to put in there with the string attached to it. So when you want one, take it apart whatever you do and then just pull the string and that will pull that last can and they'll just pull them all out now put high dollar stuff in here don't put you know like a can of corn or a can of peas compared to some roast beef you know use that very small space you have you can put a 10 foot stick a 20 foot stick whatever fits your basement now you might have a crawl space do it in the crawl space if you can get in there um, you can put this stuff in here leave it for a year a year later go ahead and rotate everything out or you can rotate it all the time but you need to rotate it just don't put it in there forget about it um, so the cans fit perfectly in there and then you can pull them out now it might be hard with that string if you can't use a string and do it a heavy duty 50 pound test line of would probably definitely have enough room 550 cord might be tight you could use a big long push broom just unscrew the handle and then push them out on the one side and they'll fall out or you can just take the pipe down if you have to but this could store a lot of food uh, normally this right here this is about three inches tall so that'd be three of these or four of these in a foot probably could get four of them in a foot if you have a 10 foot stick that's 40 cans of you know calorie rich protein rich food um, no one will find it if you do it right and that way in a worst case event you have to leave your house and you come back to your house later on after the problem's over granted your probably pantry your kitchen cabinets are gonna be bare but at least you'll have a little bit of food stored either in your crawl space or it could be in your basement you just have to take that down uh, and be able to eat so use your imagination but this is one spot you could probably hide a lot of food you don't have to put food you can put ammo in here you might be able to find uh, a small 22 rifle that could fit in here or a, or a small pistol if you take the grip off of it just use your imagination uh, you could put a little bit of money in here you could put some knives a fishing gear whatever a whole complete survival kit in that pipe use your imagination but start now doing something thanks for watching